today we're gonna look at uh, Nagoya NA771 real one fake one versus Rabadak antenna and as a bonus we'll probably look at UT72G see how it, both of them performs is it worthwhile upgrading Rabadak on any of them so we can First we can look at uh, this one, as you can guess, the quality of packaging is not that good, it's a $10 antenna, basically it has a QR code, some sort of a seal, but we can have a look. So as you can see. Nagoya label is printed. Um, SMA connector. Okay, and no QR code actually on the uh, antenna itself. Pretty solid connection, so nothing loose. Let's look at real one. QR code as well has actually additional washing. So as you can see, QR code at the back, different labeling, better SMA connection. Nothing loose. Actually, a small, small Nagoya labeling here on a cap. And, and I think if you can look closely, this is straight up antenna. Same width all over the from top to bottom. And this one, you can see. The bottom is wider than the top. Looks like it's a two parts antenna. It's maybe because of a 144 and 400 frequencies. Okay. Let's have a look. All of them and that pretty much a rubber duck. Standard antenna. Let's have a look how all they perform. Before I do that, I'll follow procedures of checking frequency in use on our sync call sign. And after that, we can start testing. Okay, checking standard Rabadac, 145 megahertz, two meter band, VHF. 101, fantastic. Same test on UHF. Four, three, three, zero, zero, zero. 101. Awesome, very stable. It's not bad for stock antenna. Now, fake Nagoya test. VHF, one watt. Holding tight. 5.3. That's awesome. Straight rubbish bin. Do the same test on UHF. Four, three, three, zero, zero, zero. Thirteen. Beautiful. Everything goes back into my radio. Well, what else could be expected from a ten dollars antenna? Go back to rubbish. Okay, test of the day. Rio Nagoya. Testing on um, UHF. Wow, 1.09. That's good, that's very good. Another test on VHF. Wow, 
1.55. It's not bad as well for such a tiny antenna, 1.55, beautiful. Thanks Nagoya, good job. As a bonus, let's test Nagoya UT72G. It's a car antenna, slightly longer than NA771, but it's more expensive, it's $80 antenna. Fit pretty snug. It's pretty heavy, it's actually very, very heavy. Magnetic base, and it's probably like two, two kilo or, or more. Okay, here it is. Here's the packaging it came with. Packaging BTH, made in Taiwan. So it has a, that's some uh, adapters. Came with adapters, so it's a UHF to uh, SMA female. That's one we're gonna use for our biofang test. And additionally, it came with uh, SMA male to SMA male. And thank you. So let's do our test. Okay, UHF test. Four three three zero zero zero. Nagoya UT seventy two G. One zero one. Fantastic. VHF test. One zero one, awesome. Same as stock antenna, perfect tuning. Now, interesting moment. At the moment, antenna sits on a very good ground. Basically, sits on the floor. If I lift it up, I lift it up and put it further away from the ground. On a table for example. Let's see what we what we what do we get? 145 megahertz. 2.2 2. 2. 2. UHF 1.2 You see, we're getting SVR higher just because antenna is not sitting on a solid ground So I guess you couldn't use it pretty much on your test table but it probably work very well on the roof of your car That's what it's designed for Alright, thanks for watching I hope that was helpful in the next test we'll probably do a range. So SVR is good, but we can test the real performance of antenna by just uh, driving away from home and see how many decibels we're going to be getting. Alright, see you then.